talk. <laughs> what? You talk. No, you're interviewing me. Okay, so last night when I was talking about the um, the case, the, the case that I'm doing next. In Marion. In Marion, Indiana. Mm-hmm. So when's the first time that you think that you saw the um, that image? Which image? The image of uh, Abraham Smith and Thomas Shipp being hung. The two people being hung. The first time I saw it is when you were utilizing it to do your cover art. So, you, so you had never, ever, ever seen that picture. Never. At all. Have you ever seen a an image of? <clears throat> have you ever seen an image of? See, that's good. Have you ever seen an image of a person being lynched at all? No, not prior to. Not prior to you doing this podcast. And then when when you when I told you that I wanted to do so when I first told you that do you think it would be kind of cool to have a a microphone being lynched? So you you saw the image of what it was going to be. No, you just told me about it first. I really dug the idea of it. If you recall, I wanted you to put an actual rope around the top of the microphone remember like you mean a, a, like a, noose, a hangman's noose like a noose yeah oh, okay. around it so <clears throat> excuse me so so you just you saw the image and you were Absolutely. clear but yeah. you didn't have like an actual like did you think of a cartoon cartoon character or no i thought of it was going to be an old fashioned microphone oh okay so you saw that but i mean when i say cartoon character i mean i i mean like I used an image, right? An image that existed, and then I put the thing in there. But what I'm saying, did you, did you think it was going to be drawn? The microphone itself. Yeah. Um, no, I thought it was going to be a picture of like an old time microphone with a, I guess a, a rope around it. A rope around it, but I thought it was going to be, you know, the old kind of blocky ones that yeah. looks like blocks. That's what I thought okay. it was going to be. So, I mean, I like what it. I like what it turned out to be. Yeah, no, I, th- I think it turned out perfectly. But ultimately, you didn't. You didn't see. Um, y- you had never seen a lynching before. Absolutely not. Okay. So then, so then, once you started, because it sounds like I've said to you before, a lynching is a lynching is a lynching, right? But <clears throat> it seems like the lynchings get mixed up in your head. Tell me about that. Mostly because you talk to me a lot about it. Mm-hmm. And about multiple ones. Oh, so okay. for me, I'm not the one telling the story about it. Mm-hmm. And so when you're talking, you talk parts of different stories. Okay. And so I mix them up, which one goes to which. Even though I went with you to Price and I went with you to Indiana, I still don't have a clear understanding of... Which one is which? Yeah, like now that the Price the one's pr- out, I understand. And once this one comes out, I'll be able to you know, make a difference between them. Yeah. So, but la- so last night we, I was kind of telling you what research I got and, um, you know, how I was laying it out and whatever, but like the points that I was going over, you know, how I was going to lay out the story. Did it feel like that's exactly what you want to have happen is hear this story. And then it's like, Oh yeah. Do you feel like you're educated about it or is it just you know what I'm saying like what what yeah is I like the way you have this one this coming one laid out because you have <clears throat> you introduce one person tell a little bit about them introduce a second person tell a little bit about them introduce a third person tell about them and then you bring them all in together how they intertwine okay all right I like that about that that's cool all right so I don't know what do you think do you think we should um do you think that we should put this out um for like a teaser to what's coming up for episode number two? Put what out? This interview. No. What? <laughs> I don't think you have a choice because it's already recorded, baby. I think I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you're going to do? Like erase it? I don't, I, I don't even think you'll be able to do that. But it sounds cool, well, though. We talked about lynchings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did you just say I'm that? just teasing. That is, that is so inappropriate. <laughs> So, by the way, um, the person who I've been, <clears throat> excuse me, testing this equipment with, so we're using the, what's it called, the MO, sorry, hold on a second, I need to, move. I think it works just fine. Yeah, I think they work well. I don't know where I put the box, though. Is it an MVO? 
No, it's uh, it's called. The problem is, I just don't know what's the best way to, because like if I'm talking to somebody, I have to be talking to them like this. But I do pick it up a certain way. I just have to figure out what the what the whole thing is. But it's called a Movo M O V O. Is that what you said? M O V O L L V four lavalier microphone kit. So I think I'm using the cardio version, cardioid version, and she is using, that's uh, Eliza Carlson, is using the directional, omnidirectional. I have kind of a hiss in my, I have kind of a hiss in my, in my voice because in my chest, so it's not the best quality, but it's not bad to test this out, and I kind of, kind of dig it. Do you think it, so how does it, so you hear me, I don't know this. I've never done this before. So I can hear my voice. And then when you talk, I can hear it clearly. But I can also, well, I'm just wondering how you hear me. Um, so I hear my voice very clear. But when you start talking, uh-huh. you're, see, you're kind of in the background when you're talking at the same time I'm talking. So I can hear mine more clear. But if I'm quiet and then you start talking, I can hear yours um, very clear a lot better. So right now I can hear you talking, or not now, but when you were talking, I hear you very clearly in my headset. And then, but yeah, so basically it's something I have to learn, right? I have to learn that if I'm interviewing somebody and we're using these mics, or I probably, I might be on my own microphone or whatever, but I can't talk over you because then you can't. Well, I think what it does is it drowns one out a little bit. Honestly, so if you start talking and I'm start, I talk at the same time. I feel like I can hear us both pretty well. Oh, okay, so let's both say our ABCs together. No, let's both say Freedom Speaks podcast together. Okay, one, two, three. Freedom, Freedom Speaks podcast dot com. com. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Mwah. Bye. I'm right here. I'm staying here all night. (laughs) You think. All right. So we'll stop.